It's December the 6th, and today's word is counsellor. Have you ever had to take legal advice? Have you ever had to go get advice on anything? Well, that's where you go to a counsellor, someone who counsels you, helps you, gives you advice, helps you to see your situation from their perspective and gives them the information they might have to help you. Well, Jesus, this promised greatest Christmas gift of all time, is described as a counsellor. It says the government will be upon his shoulders in Isaiah, and he'll be called Wonderful Counsellor. But he's a different kind of counsellor. Come and let us reason together, says Jesus. Come and let us reason together. Though your sins are like crimson red, though they'll become as white as the snow, like wool. Wow. Isn't Jesus such a wonderful counsellor? Because he's not just one who sits and gives advice, but he's one who actually comes on our behalf and helps us with our problems. He actually engages in our problems rather than gives advice from outside. A little bit like this. Imagine you're taking a, a, an exam and someone comes beside you, a teacher, uh, and you say, oh, please help me, give me some advice on this question. What does this question mean? Well, they're probably not allowed to do that in an exam situation. But imagine, they said, instead of just giving good advice, they said, I'll do one better than that. Step up. I will take the test for you. That is what a wonderful counsellor we have. Someone who's Jesus is like that. He doesn't just give advice, and there is lots of advice, lots of good words in Scripture, but he is more than that. He actually engages into our world and comes close to actually get messy. He, he came from heaven to earth. He's our wonderful counsellor. 